Hi, today I'd like to talk about how Javelin and SolidWorks has helped Nautel design world-class products over the last 20 years. But first, a little about myself. Uh, my name is Joey Panzik, uh, drafting manager here at Nautel. I've uh, been here for 24 plus years and eight years as design manager. Uh, the design office team consists of Jeff Dunlop, PCB mechanical designer, Kelly Pittman, PCB designer, Aaron McLean, mechanical designer, and Jody Swicker, composer facilitator. A little, about, a little bit of history about Nautel. Um, Nautel started in 1969, and we have currently four uh, plants throughout the world. Um, Hackett's Cove being the main headquarters where engineering production is done. Our Bangor main facility is mainly production. Uh, our transducer and sonar section is in Cornwall, Ontario. And most recently, we have purchased a company in France that develops telecommunication equipment. Um, Nautel to date has shipped 16,000 plus transmitters into 177 countries around the world. Uh, our main product line or our core product line is the NX series or our AM broadcast series, which ranges from 1,000 watts to 2 megawatts with of RF power. And our FM line or MV Lite slash GV series ranges from 150 watts to 80 kilowatts. Um, other projects that we have done are some diversification projects. Um, one project we did in Quebec is using uh, an existing um, AM transmitter uh, to help dry wood. Um, and another one that we're currently working on for the Canadian military is a uh, sonar amplifier for the refit of the Halifax class frigates, which not tells providing the transducer from SeaTech and the amplifier, which is being uh, developed here at Nautel. Um, so designing those products, um, SolidWorks has helped us in many ways. Uh, back in 2003, we decided to move away from our current 2D pro uh, product and um, look into a 3D-based platform, and we haven't looked back. Um, in 2014, um, we decided to acquire um, and implement uh, PDM to help us with our version control and our controlled goods document storage. We are an ISO company, so this helps out in many ways. In 2016, we decided to um, bring our PCAD um, software up to date um, and, you, and purchase uh, SOLIDWORKS PCB. And now today we have collaboration between the mechanical world and, the, and now the circuit board world. And then 2016 as well, we also added um, Composer to help out with uh, product um, building on, on our, in our production facility, um, which has been a great asset. And we are starting to evolve um, Composer into many more aspects of the company, such as sales and marketing, uh, customer service, um, and whatnot. Um, SolidWorks products that we currently have is uh, we have four seats of uh, professional and one seat of premium. Um, SolidWorks PDM, we have five professional CAD editors and 10 viewer licenses. Uh, we implemented a SolidWorks PDM Web 2 uh, for help with uh, people working at home. And we also um, integrated SolidWorks PDM replication service in our Bangor facility, so they are looking at the same files that we're looking at up here. Um, uh, of course, we also have SolidWorks PCB Professional. We have two seats of that. Um, we also have SolidWorks Simulation Premium to help out with um, shock and vibration, um, dynamic studies. Um, also, we have SolidWorks Flow Simulation and the Electronic Module to help out um, with our designs going forward, which are getting much smaller and um, with the same uh, power form factor. Uh, the equipment is much smaller though, so uh, the design is that much harder to um, develop. 
Um, we also have two seats of SOLIDWORKS Composer Professional, um, SOLIDWORKS uh, Visualize Standard, we have five users of that, uh, SOLIDWORKS Draft Site, we have three users of that. And over the last 16 uh, years or so, we have invested roughly a quarter of a million dollars into our software packages from SOLIDWORKS. And uh, we're on currently on a, uh, roughly now a three-year maintenance package with Javelin. Um, some of the tools um, that, uh, that we use to design our product will take this particular assembly here. Uh, this product was designed using SOLIDWORKS Premium, which included the cable routing software, uh, SOLIDWORKS PCB, which includes all the circuit cards inside this particular piece of equipment, um, SOLIDWORKS cable routing that I spoke about, um, SOLIDWORKS toolbox to add all the hardware, um, the costing module, uh, which we're, we're developing, um, not fully rolled out yet, but also helps with you know getting roughly what the approximate cost of a part would be and how that increases by adding features to the part and, and whatnot. Uh, SOLIDWORKS flow simulation to figure out how the air is traveling throughout this device and, and see if the components are being properly cooled. Um, then we transfer that all in the SOLIDWORKS Composer to help um, build the product on, uh, our, in our production facility side of things. And of course, we also, for sending out um, this kind of documentation for like sales and marketing or customers, we also use Visualize just to give it the render um, that much more uh, lifelike type picture. And of course, all this documentation is stored into our vault with rev control approvals and PDFs being generated automatically in the background so our production facility can get access to these drawings or composer files to build our product. Um, talk about SOLIDWORKS PCB tool for a little bit. Um, normally this is how uh, we get our circuit cards in. Uh, someone hands us a hand sketch drawing from engineering. We take that and create the schematic in SOLIDWORKS PCB, and then we create the layout drawing in SOLIDWORKS PCB. This allows us um, collaboration between the mechanical world and um, the uh, PCB side of things. Uh, before SOLIDWORKS PCB, uh, we used a different kind of circuit board software, which they would create the software, uh, the, the circuit boards in 2D, and then we would have to bring them into SOLIDWORKS and recreate the assemblies there. So this is a huge time savings for us, um, and it's been a great addition to our product portfolio. Um, on the composer side of things, um, we have also streamlined um, documentation being deployed to our production, uh, production floor, I should say. Um, on uh, the left-hand side, this is a, a, a drawing that we would provide it to production to build, so it's not very interactive. It's a PDF that they get. And the documentation on the right is the uh, 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 documentation that's to build the product. So WRSs, CMTs, and parts lists. Um, they would have uh, uh, these papers scattered across their work area, and it was very um, confusing. Uh, so with the introduction of Composer, um, we take the SOLIDWORKS model on the left-hand side, then we transfer into Composer and to create a Composer file. Then at the bottom, our root sheets and CMTs that I've seen on the previous slide is now all uh, to uh, links. So they click on the WRS or CMT or, or whatever, um, and they can get the root sheets and, and connector mating tables at their fingertips. So uh, the production uh, area is basically all on screen now. Uh, we use touch screens um, they, and the work areas are much clearer now. They don't have all this paper floating around that can get lost um, and the updates are automatic. So the file gets updated in the, in the background, they get the latest and greatest version of the file at the time by just clicking on the links. Um, with SOLIDWORKS Visualize, uh, we can now send um, documentation to customers to get a, a sense what their product's gonna look like in real life without even building the product. So these are some of the custom systems that we've done over the last few years um, that we designed in SOLIDWORKS and has rendered to send to the customer and say, here's what your product's gonna look like. Um, 
which is a great addition. It, it gives the customer, you know, that much more appreciation for the effort that we go to um, to a win their uh, to win the sale and, and the support and, and gives them a much better idea of what their product is going to look like before they even get it and before we even build it. Um, here's some more uh, images um, of, a, of a piece of equipment that we build. And you can see with Visualize, you can get the shots that you normally can't get with a camera. Um, the one on the top left there, you, this is kind of taken inside the unit, showing what the cabling looks like, um, the, uh, the rear view uh, of the equipment. And some people just uh, can't tell the difference between a, a rendered image and a, a picture taking. So, you know, it, it's adding an extra level of uh, realism to our product. Um, some of the future things that we want to do with SOLIDWORKS going forward is um, a VR and AR. Um, we like to explore this more for trade shows. Um, some of our equipment is quite large, like the, the two megawatt AM system um, that I mentioned before. Um, that, that's a huge transmitter. We just can't take something like that to a trade show. So we could do it in a VR world or an AR world where customers can put the headset on and get a sense of being in the room uh, without even being there. Um, cloud computing is another one that we're looking at um, to, um, to put our stuff in the cloud um, just for uh, uh, faster processing of, of, for simulation models, for instance. Um, so that's something that we're looking at now. Um, SolidWorks Electrical is another one uh, that we're that we're looking at and maybe um, uh, maybe expand into. That will just tie together with our cable harness software and just make that process more streamlined. And continuing on with the trend of paperless uh, production environment that we're seeing with Composer, we would like to maybe move to a model-based definition in our uh, fabrication shop, where it says having drawing paper drawings laying around in our fab shop, they would have uh, computers at their desk or at the equipment where they can open up a, a 3D model with all the uh, dimensions onto it and all the notes and they can rotate it around and just gives them that much more interaction with the model um, than they ever had before. And of course, uh, with uh, SolarWorks PCB um, and with our PDM system, we like to get the uh, uh, circuit board cards into our vault for rev and release control and for approvals. Um, again, it's much easier to prove to an auditor. We are ISO certified, so when we get audited, they can come in and say, how do you get your drawings approved? And how do you know that this is at the latest rev? Our, the vault and the PDM vault helps us uh, obtain that and, and satisfies the auditors when they, when they come in. And of course, uh, talked about uh, SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Um, we have the standard version now, maybe move to a professional at some point, um, just to give us more flexibility with providing um, real life uh, renders to our customers. Uh, in closing, SOLIDWORKS has been a great fit for Nautel when designing world-class equipment and because of their continued excellence in product knowledge and customer service support, We've been able to maintain a relationship with the team at Javelin for almost 20 years and more years to come. Thank you.